The one I'm about to get to. It's worse than we thought. It's worse than we thought. Obama admits he wants to overthrow Trump. Does the media say, wow, Trump was right last week when he said that? Oh no, he's still wrong. We are witnessing Bible prophecy unfold right before our eyes. You better get your family ready. Ready for what is coming. now the forces that are coming against the freedom and liberty and constitution of the world the christian foundation that's being attacked and the delusion and the deception that's coming in is amazing to document and to analyze the stuff that's going on this is book of revelation end times last generation stuff we are witnessing right now i mean we are literally witnessing the four apocalyptic horsemen coming in. I mean, we're seeing an amazing explosion in the stock market, political unrest, and just tumultuous activity going on. And we need to pay attention because it's interesting to see how this stuff fits into the Bible. And we can see God pouring out right this moment into the world, this spirit of deception and it's infiltrated into politics and into religion and into society. And we're seeing this war played out between the elements of good and evil in politics. This is so fascinating. What's amazing is that we saw the evil coming, the global dictator, one world government spirit arising around the world. And what's fascinating and mysterious is God has thrown us a curveball with this pseudo-Christian movement through Donald Trump. And what I see is a deception. Because it was easy to identify the bad guys. And now we have this, what would appear to be a Christian savior appearing on the scene. Now either Trump is part of it and he's gonna fold and he's gonna eventually flip or he's gonna be taken out of the way. Which is it? And whatever happens, it's still absolutely astonishing and mind-blowing. How can you not be interested in this dramatic time that we live in? It is absolutely better than any movie you could go see. What we're living through right now on this planet is absolutely stunning. And quite frankly, I'm amazed to be chosen as you are to go through this generation, this final hour, and what's taking place. It is amazing. So, and what's more amazing about it is that we have the light of God, and we can actually see not only the surface levels of what's going on, but we see penetrating through and behind the scenes on a spiritual level, on a biblical level, we can decipher these components and pieces and understand even more than the world. We understand more than most people, not me personally, but those who study the Bible and eschatology and the signs and the prophecies, we have a higher understanding of what's going on here, which makes it even more fascinating. I mean, the political systems of control and deceit and fraud and crony capitalism that are designed to dumb the population down and transfer wealth to the elites and just burn and destroy wealth to consolidate control is the true public admitted enemy. And they've worked so hard to 
hide this thing and we don't need to sit here and let them dominate the future. The globalists are openly manipulating our DNA. They're, they're giving us cancer. They're poisoning us. They write books about it. They write documents about it. They're super uncool. And I feverishly want to beat them. I want to see them defeated. What he is describing is the forces of the rider on the white horse who has come to conquer the globe. And he believes that through humanism and the spirit of freedom, the spirit of humanity, that we can stop this from happening. And he believes Donald Trump is going to be the facilitator of this. And I am telling you that we cannot stop this global tyranny and dictatorship, the new world order. We cannot stop this judgment of God and this prophecy that's coming. And we together will burn this thing down. And we together will burn this thing down. We have got some really bombshell news. And if President Trump doesn't do something about this and if Sessions doesn't do something about this right now, for the first time, I am going to start getting very, very critical of Trump. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do because he's so good on trying to get the economy going, on trying to get small business loans going, on getting small businesses to invest in the stock market to drive it up now almost $3 trillion, in exposing political correctness, in defending Christianity, in fighting radical Islam, uh, in promoting Americana, in signing an executive order to not fine families $5,000 for not having Obamacare. I mean, so many good things, turning all our coal power plants back on letting our coal miners get back to work. We have the best, cleanest coal in the world. He, he's doing so much good when it comes to actually serving the people and dismantling globalism and transferring industry and jobs and humanity back to the people, not handouts to control them. But then he won't do anything other than tweet and they, the media bullies that and acts like it's wrong that he fight back against lies and act like it's weird when he exposes them. Okay, I wanna focus on, I want the elect, our group, the saints of God, those that are in Christ to pay attention to what we're gonna be revealing and what we're gonna be uh, paying attention to ourselves. And that is the struggle between the good and the bad in pol politics because we're gonna see a futile attempt of the independence and the spirit of America to revive itself. And we're seeing that. We're seeing a global backlash against the new world order. And we are seeing this phenomena and a lot of people are being uh, taken in by it, surprised by it and deceived by it. But God has his mystery, mysterious ways of working out his good purposes. So we got this battle between what looks like this Christian righteousness side and the demonic new world order side but you can't be deceived by this so pseudo religious christian movement this is part of the deception and this is why people are being deceived because they see it as good and evil whereas really both sides are deceiving people so with donald trump we have this effort of mankind to break away from the tyranny and dictatorship of the New World Order under the pretense of Christianity. So that's drawing a lot of religious people under Trump to follow him. And so people think that he's the Antichrist because he's gonna deceive people. We don't know what's gonna happen with that. We need to be alert and ready for anything. But then we see Obama behind the scenes who hasn't left Washington DC yet still pulling strings and political clout and muscle to bring down Donald Trump. So this is a very wild war that we see going on. We're like, is Donald Trump good or is he bad? And so we're still left with mystery involved with all this. So we're seeing this battle between these two sides. And many people don't understand that both sides are wrong. But God in his divine providence the bible says he has in his hand he has the deceiver and the deceived and he will use both of these things 
for his purposes. And only the elect of God have any inclination or any insight into what's going on. So I want us to just sit back and watch this and fit it into Bible prophecy and understand that this is just a stepping stone stage to what's really coming. What I'm about to get to, it's worse than we thought. We knew the Justice Department got caught in Florida with Justice Department high-level operatives in emails on the ground trying to cause riots and trying to stir up the Trayvon Martin tragedy to create the whole racial division that we now saw peak in the last year. But ladies and gentlemen, Fox News is reporting and they've got the documents. This is so illegal. Obama transferred billions of dollars through Eric Holder and the Department of Justice. We're getting the video report right now. Post this video report to Infowars.com right now, guys. Infowars.com, post it to our site, tweet it out right now. Obama DOJ funded billions to liberal activist groups. We're gonna play this clip in a moment. Billions of dollars, that is so illegal to have the Justice Department give money to groups secretly, period, political groups, to have the government funding its own party, the party in power funding its own party, and then to give it to activist groups that are running around saying kill cops and overthrow government. This is the government forming sedition against local and state governments to cause a civil war. And it ties in with everything I covered yesterday. Holder foretells the return of Obama. He's coming and he's ready to roll. This is announced in Politico, the New York Times, you name it, like he's God. Obama's goal to oust Trump from presidency via impeachment or resignation, mounting insurgency. Paul Joseph Watson quotes the Daily Mail reports and the New York Times with them admitting they leaked the intelligence documents, with them admitting they gave the New York Times the made up Russia dossier stuff with some real leaked illegal intelligence in there confirming what Trump said weeks ago that he believes it's Obama leaking the illegal information. Well, now it's admitted and that's illegal as well. They're completely committing crimes, doing whatever they want. And Sessions has recused himself from the made up Russia investigation. So he can't expose the real crime of the leaks and a Prosecutor appointed by Obama, who's anti-Trump, is gonna lead it now. Can you believe that? Trump is allowing himself to be absolutely encircled because he's a businessman, he understands how it works, he's trying to flood you with prosperity so that you'll get off the poison tit of the New World Order, but it's gonna be too little too late if they've picked off his whole cabinet and are moving forward to kill him or impeach him, as the former president admits he wants to do. Whoa. The Obama administration funneled billions of dollars to activist organizations through a Department of Justice slush fund scheme. And of course, he just exposed they had a slush fund of 100 and something billion, 180 something billion. A Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac they stole for Obamacare and actually gave to select corporations that were over it. I mean, this is incredible. It's clear partisan politics played a role in the illicit actions. Illicit? How about illegal? That were made, Representative. John Ratcliffe of Texas told Fox News, the DOJ is the last place this should have occurred. Wow. But it's so criminal, they're even timid about it, see? You wonder why the globalists are so arrogant. They've already committed so many crimes. They've already gotten away with so much. They think they can push the American people and Trump and everybody else around. They can meet with the Russian ambassador and do all they want, but if, if anybody with Trump does, it's the end of the world. They just do whatever they want because nobody has ever knocked them on their ass politically. They're like the punk bully in some small town that's been beating up kids half his age for uh, you know six, seven years. And, and then finally somebody gets off at the bus stop to visit grandma and you know, the bully comes over and punches them in the face. And the bully two seconds later has got their head bouncing up and down off the concrete. That's the metaphor. I don't literally mean bash Nancy Pelosi's head in the ground. The point is, is that all these arrogant people are writing political checks they can't cash. If we simply stand up to them, I am blown away right now. I, my head is spinning. Huckabee's come out and railed. He says it's worse than a mafia shakedown. Absolutely. Good job Huckabee saying it's criminal. 
Man, this is unbelievable. Trump, I love you to death. And I'm sure you know what you're doing, man. You're smarter than I am in many ways, but let me tell you something. Justice be done, may the heavens fall. We need you to pull the trigger. We have the clip, ladies and gentlemen. Th this, this, this is the biggest thing. I mean, this is unbelievable. Whoa. Well, let's go to the clip. Go ahead and go to it. Well, somebody ought to go to prison for this. I mean, this is worse than a mafia shakedown because at least if the mafia shakes you down for protection, your store doesn't burn down. The, the, the transcript of Huckabee is another article. I didn't even know Huckabee came out and said somebody should go to jail for this because that's exactly, folks, this is open and shut illegally transferred money by the billions. It was worse, it wasn't just Soros, it was them the whole time. The Obama saying, let's have racial unity while he was pushing all the Black Lives Matter groups and the rest of it and cops getting killed everywhere and the Strong Cities Initiative with the UN. They thought they were gonna have some you know, uprising of the minorities once Hillary got in and a big race war and that the feds would come in and he'd be the new Lincoln and they'd secure order. It didn't happen like that. Trump's in now, but they're going ahead with their whole program despite that and Obama's moved in down the street and says, well, they don't even say in the New York Times. Turns out Trump's right. Obama is behind the plan to overthrow him. There's a new survey out, 98% of news coverage is anti-Trump when it's mainstream, yeah. These people think we're idiots. I mean, it's incredible. They're delusional. It's just so outrageous that if we don't finally do something about these people, if they don't start going to jail, if some political heads don't start rolling, they're going to set the precedent to do anything and their minions are already emboldened where the outgoing head of the CIA, three days before the president is sworn in, says, you ought to watch your mouth. You better watch your mouth to the president of the United States. What type of crazy, out of control, arrogant loon does that? But see, he's got the big banks and all the elites and the foreign governments and the Republican establishment and the Democratic establishment and all these scumbags get together in their traitorous councils and they believe that they can do anything together because they see Trump as isolated. He's not isolated, scumbags. Let that be a warning to you. The American people and the military and most of the intelligence agencies and most of the people in the FBI and other groups know now that they've got to choose a side, that they've got to choose a side, that they've got to choose a side, that they've got to choose a side. It is true, we've got to choose a side. But politics will not save us. We're living in a time of great and mass deception. The strong delusion is here. You can see it in politics. You can't depend on a man to save you. We don't know who to trust. The only one we can trust is the Son of God. The only writings that we can really trust for knowledge and salvation is the Holy Bible. The King James Bible is the most reliable. My friends, we need to study the prophecies. We need to fast and pray. We need to repent from our sins so that we have a clear mind, a sober spirit, and clear eyes, open ears, and a heart that is able to receive revelation from God. Sin is going to get in the way and confuse us. Sin is going to compromise clarity in our hearts. We need to be vigilant, living pure and godly so that we are not caught up and swept away in this stuff, this drama, these politics, this deception. But it is very, very interesting to be alive right now as a saint, as the elect of God, knowing that we're on the the edge of the generation. We're seeing, literally seeing Bible prophecy unfold right before our eyes. It is fascinating to see God put us on his lap and say, watch this with me. And I feel like I'm watching these things unfold through the eyes of God. It is amazing, brothers and sisters. And you need to wake up and prepare yourself for the judgment because we are about to see the revelation of Jesus Christ, the unveiling of his return. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
Are you ready to stand before the Son of God and give an account? Get ready. Your time is running out.